have another sew with me from the Quilted Snowman. I got the kit. Um, this is by Lori Holt. I got the kit from Fat Quarter Shop, whom I shall link down below in the description box if you want to place an order. I'm an affiliate for them, so it helps me if you use my link each and every time you shop, please. We're doing the um, mitten and arm blocks today. We may or may not do more than this. We'll just have to see how long this takes us. I don't think it's going to take us that long. Famous last words. First up, L. And I. She makes these one at a time. I think I'm going to try to do them both at the same time. So here, snowball in the corner. These two corners are going to be snowballed. And I bet the other one is just going to be snow. Yeah. The other one is um, on the other side going to be snowballed. Mirror images of one another. Here's my quilt on the side. I'm making scrappy crossroads. I use that as leaders and enders. Oh, almost knocked off my spray. There we go. Trim, press. Okay, so the one that snowballed on this side, you're going to put D here, and it's going to be sewn this corner to corner. Y'all, I'm nearing the end of that book, The X, and I'm thoroughly shook and confused and like blown away of the revelation that we just had. I'm like, what? What? You know, I'm speechless. It's so good. This book is so good. You got to read it, mister. Okay, the ones that are snowballed on this side, put D here. So this corner to corner. wait to get back to the book because so I'm just like what huh that me with the guy with all the question marks circling around his head that's me right now all right I'm gonna set this to the side go to K um F Oh no. What is wrong with me lately? I keep not cutting enough fabric. I don't. Something is wrong with my brain. I keep doing this. Shoot. I don't think I have any scraps that size either. So I'll just use this one. All right, we're 
we're going to snowball these two corners with F. That's literally the third time I've done that today. Not cut enough. It's bags <laughs> and leaving this place. I'm out of here. I'm getting hungry. I'm fixing to go fix supper after this. This one on the other corner. Let's take this one. Let's take this guy and put C here. This is the hand, and this is one of the thumbs. Isn't it cool how the picture just starts coming together and you want to see it? I'll say that. And then 
this one, the other side. The other smitten middle. Let's take M and E. It's going to go on the top. This is the little cup of the mitten. Oh no, made it crinkly. There we go. Put that to the side. Okay, and the other side's gonna have G. together. J and B go together. This is his stick arm. sad when this quilt's over. This is so fun. And A. Let me press this. Got a little curve to it. There we go. On the other side of the arm.
words hung up on something. All right, take your mitten back and the fatter side A is gonna go on top. Why are you too small? Why are you too small? Let me measure this. This is, wait, shoot, shoot. Okay, this is supposed to be probably eight and a half by seven and a half. That's right. That's right. It's a little longer here. It is a little longer there at the one side. one's doing the same thing. Um, I'll fix it. Don't you worry, you're putting it in the end. My witchy ways have got this. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing. Let's fix it. I'm gonna, before I even unfold it, I'm gonna take it over here. And I know it's supposed to be seven and a half. So I'm gonna line it up. There's the seven and a half line. Can you see where it's over? No, you can't see a dang thing. It's over, trust me. Fixed. I'm just putting it on my 10 here on the straight line and then I'm going to the 17 and a half which will be seven and a half right putting my ruler on the line and trimming the excess and there is excess there boom fixed It was a little too long, not a little too short. So here is one mitten tan, an arm, and the other. <laughs> Freaking adorable. What do we got? Oh my gosh, we got plenty of time. Let me go cut another one. Okay. It is now the next day. <laughs> Let's get started. We're going to make the Merry Stick Pine Block. It's a tree, y'all. Charlie Brown Christmas. I've got all my pieces cut up. We're actually using a star that we made earlier in this. First up, my gosh, my back is killing me, y'all. I see a bunch of unboxings and I'm out of shape. You wouldn't think, why would unboxings hurt your back? I did a try on, so there's your answer to that. F. We're going to take all the F units, by the way. And A. It's going to be snowballed on the top of the blocks. One's going to be sewn this way, one's going to be sewn that way. They are mirror images of each other. Y'all, I just saw on Facebook that um, the vice principal 
of one of our schools in the town over was arrested for shoplifting. What? Squeeze me? Yup. So you had a bad day, you taking one down, take a sad song and you turn it around. That's a bad day, yeah. That's a bad day. And you can draw the line on this. I'm using my intuition and my sin guide. So that one, we did that way. And this one, I'm going to do the other way. You had a bad day. I'm not doing very good at this. to get this finished so we can watch our Halloween movie. Yeah. Good thing I didn't scare you this time. I know, I'm glad. I'm mm -hmm. um, what are you? What are we going to watch? Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street? Stella? Oh, we watched Saw last night, the first one, and none of us had ever seen it. And we liked it, didn't we, Stella? Yeah. It was a good one. HBO, when we went to find that, HBO has tons of, they have a little section, you know, you can look through with all the good scary movies on it. you like yours yeah they definitely need something to me that's why I did sriracha the blue agave sriracha I got my cook with a bon appetit box Cut all these off. Here's my block. Oh, you already know about this. I hope I set all these right. Double checking as I'm cutting them apart that they're going in opposite directions. Hey, I did it! I did it! I did it! Yeah! Once you have them sewn, trim about a fourth of an inch away from that seam, away from that stitch line and press. Now you could definitely get some scraps out of this if you if you were so inclined. I 
I saved two and a half, one and a half, five inch. That's about it. So, waste not, what not. Hey, people, you got your crinkle ball? I'm not going to save that one. It's not my favorite fabric. I really like this green one now, so I'll probably save it. I like to cut my scraps as I go. I don't ever just throw them in a box uncut. Because you know what will happen then? They'll stay in that box uncut and I'll never use them. But if you cut them as you go, you will, or I will, because I know me. I'm not going to cut the smaller ones, because I've got tons of one and a half -ers. But I will cut the two and a half incher. I do like this green too, so I'll save it. One more. Did I tell you how I finished my book? Um, it was, what the heck was it? The Frida McFadden, the X. The, it was so good. It was so good. And now I've started on Frida McFadden, Dead Med. And uh, it's really good too. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. All right, let's press all these. Okay, take these now. I'm in. I'm gonna stack them in their respective piles. Okay, the ones with the brown on this side, we're gonna put B snowballed in the bottom corner. Corner to corner down the middle. Seems so easy, guys. Was a, I was surprised by the amount of stars that were in Saw. I just thought it was some like B horror movie, but he was Danny Glover? That was a real surprise. And that Monica Potter, who I've always thought is beautiful, but she never really made it into mainstream. Um, she's the one that played his wife, Carrie, or you know, Princess Bride dude was on there. 
um, The Crush, also, which I loved that movie. With Felicia Silverstone in him. Carrie. I don't know if I pronounced her last name. Well, that Monica Potter, I always thought she was beautiful. She was, to me, looks just like like Julia Roberts, but blonde. She was in Con Air. I remember her from Con Air. I can't remember what else she's been in, but I always thought she was so pretty. I don't know why she never really made it. We all slept in today because Sam and Stella, neither one had school today. And why, I don't know, but they didn't. And we all slept in. Let's see if I can get a scrap out of this too. Nope. <clears throat> anyway, apparently, when I woke up, it was about 12.30. So I slept pretty late. And then I saw the kids had been texting on our group app, our group chat, asking, Sam's like, talking about some kid being over here. And I'm like, what are y'all talking about? And then I walk into the kitchen and it's clean. The kitchen's clean. And I'm like, Janie's been here. Janie came over and cleaned the kitchen while we slept, like a little clean and fairy. So sweet. And apparently she had um, Noah with her, which is her great granddaughter. So it's her grand, one of her grandkids' babies. Who, my niece's baby. Of my, son, my sister, um, Amberly, that passed away. Like, I think it's been two years now. little over because she never met the baby the baby's under two and she was not pregnant when she passed away so she missed that oh, i hate that i hate that anyway she was over the little girl was here and and sam was like i can't believe you slept through that because that kid was running and screaming and stomping and everything through the house and i'm like i slept like the dead i heard nothing the whole time so I, I slept good, I know that, but I never heard a peep. Next up, G and H. G and H. Uh -huh, okay, these two together, just side by side. And I wish I wouldn't have known they were here. I would have got up, but no idea. No idea they were here cleaning. Kitchen was quite messy too, so I'm very happy. <laughs> it's so clean now. All the dishes done. Press all these to the brown. We 
also need D and I. This is like a belt in it. It's the bottom of the tree. Now take your limbs back. The big on the top and the little on the bottom. And find your matching piece there and that's how it's gonna go. That lined up like almost perfection. this green so pretty with the little flowers on it? I just love that print. the middle. I'm going to take some ibuprofen for this bag. Faux show. Do I have any? I do. Ah, oh, no, no. Of course, no drink. Of course. And just put the other side on. Yeah, I did unbox that Prairie Home quilt book tonight, and I posted it earlier. If you haven't, if you missed that, be sure to check that out. I went through the whole book and showed every pattern that was in there. It's so good. It's so good. When are we going to watch the movie? As soon as I'm done with this um, video. So I like to wait until it's dark. 
So, what time is it now? Probably about seven. It won't take me long to do this. Okay, this is going to have C on each side of it. This is one of our stars from earlier. Okay, press to the middle. I forgot I was pressing to the middle. All right, way she's got it is like dark green, light green, dark green. So. We'll do this one attach to this one. I'll probably need to pin at the center. I'm going to. And I, I pressed them all to the middle so none of my seams are nesting. So don't do that. Press the light one to the branches and the other two to the stem and you should be fine. This is going to go on the top of the tree, of course. Hey, oh, that looks good. Nice. Nice. It came together right now over me. Looks good. All right, this one on the bottom. Okay, let's pin that middle again.
think I figured out something in Dead Mad, um, but I've never been right yet. I'm hoping I'm right this time. I don't. I don't know why I even try to guess anymore. I still do. I still try and guess. I have not guessed one of hers right yet. I'm just starting to get mad at points. I just hate points so hard. Why the heck are you so small? Let me check my measurements. Okay, this is supposed to be 14 and a half. Oh my lord, it's 15 and a half. That's weird. Okay, I'll square it by eight. Let me see the other way what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna have to square, I'm gonna have to square this up. Clear the deck. Supposed to be 14 and a half mine's literally measuring 15 and a half so I'm gonna take half an inch off each side here make sure I don't take too much that would be just my luck wouldn't it It's supposed to be this way. Eight and a half this way. So I'm lining this one up on. Oh, wow, it's about perfect this way. Um, let's see. Uh, clean it up just a little. There's not much off. I had to have cut something wrong there. This one's not that far off. That looks right. Nice, it looks good on the lineup too. Happy with that. Okay, now we're gonna put this at the bottom. Okay, it's perfectly the right size. I'm going to pin that center again. The tree trunk. Ow! Dang it! I just stabbed myself not once, but twice. In the same action.
perfectly lined up, but pretty close. It is perfect on one side, slightly off on the other. I mean like half of an eighth of an inch, so you'd need a magnifying glass to see it. And then the star on the top of the tree. Perfect. What the heck? I'm flipping all my scenes unintentionally. Freaking adorable. Okay. It's quite long. <laughs> Turned out super cute. What do y'all think? Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me. I'll see y'all at the next one.